What? <laughs> you may not touch my belly button. That's my body, and I don't want you to touch it that way. <laughs> yeah, you may touch your own belly button, but I do not want my belly button to be touched. Okay? <laughs> yes, I am in charge of my body, and you are in charge of your body. And right now, I don't want my body to be touched on my belly button. <laughs> yeah, okay? So you, you can touch your belly button. Because that's your body, but I don't want my body to be touched right now. Yes, okay? Oh, really? Do you want your bottle? Let's Bro, the kid don't even understand what you're saying. That's child abuse. It is. The child's going to grow up too afraid to do anything. You're a bad mum, and I would say you probably don't understand how to teach someone consent, probably. If that's how you think teaching a child about consent is going to work it's, it's going to work in your favor you're an idiot the baby doesn't understand what the hell you're talking about absolutely not all it's understand is that his mother won't touch him for some reason yeah touch it's her. gonna grow up with um like yeah like mental issues yeah of course especially if hers the mom it's gonna feel bloody abandoned or feel like it's got like um it's going to have something called an, an emotional anxious attachment style. Isn't it? Is that what it's called? Something like that. Like you just... The attachment disorder thing. You, you just... You... End up sort of clinging on to people mm. really quickly. And you, you become needy of them because you have this fear that they're going to leave you. Because you've always right. been left. And Something like that. Yeah, no, I, I can see that happening. Yeah. I mean, the point here is that that's not how you teach consent. That's, nah. And they're way too young to be learning about that thing. The problem is with people today is that they can't understand there's certain ages that you teach children things. It's the same thing that we talk about with schools and what they're introducing in the curriculum at a very young age. If you think that teaching a child or talking about a child, talking to a child about consent at that age is going to work. You are stupid and you shouldn't have reproduced. I don't think you need to be discussing con consent at that sort of age. Not one years old, not two years old, not three years old, not four years old. I think it needs to be more at an age maybe where a kid is approaching secondary school. That's when I think it's a an appropriate time. I think in terms of respecting somebody's space, I think you can teach a child because consent could From literally be... From as young be, as six or seven, yeah. Not even, they could be a bit younger than that, but I don't think... They need to be able to understand what you're saying. They need to be able to understand... Because like, when you're going to school, generally you can communicate with other people even on like a low level. So it's okay to teach a child, hey, you know, don't just walk up to people and grab them. I don't... No, I'm, we're not even talking about grabbing bums or boobs. Yeah. I'm just literally just, saying don't push people, don't, don't violate their space. You can talk to a child that can have conversation about it, but not a baby. Yeah. You know, sometimes some kids just beat up in your face. Yeah. And their parents try to teach them personal space. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't get too close. Yeah. But kids, they don't know. They get excited. Yeah. But and a kid... Sorry, go on. No, I was no. going to say, a kid, even if a kid did touch your belly button, yeah, the kid has got no intent there mm. they're just being a child so they're not going to understand it because yeah. they've got innocent minds yeah you see what i'm saying and then when they get older and they're exposed to a bit more that's when you can teach them when they're gonna absorb it a lot better yeah there's there's a time and place to teach people things that we say all the time as far as i'm concerned that's child abuse and she's a stupid mom she shouldn't have reproduced like that's such a dumb thing to do. That's like that silly woman that was on Good Morning Britain or something saying, Oh, yeah. I'm not going to change my kid's nappy unless it gives me consent. My newborn baby. Yeah. Mental health. It's, it's a real thing. And there's way too many people reproducing that have it. Babies can't consent. That's it. There's no, there's, this is not a nuanced conversation. You can't teach a, 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 a baby that can't even talk. Consent. The baby can't even say, Mum, can you pass my bottle for me, please? It's going, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And you want to try to teach it, this is my belly button, you can't touch it. Are you okay in your head? Yeah. You can teach kids young about consent, but we're not even talking about sexual consent. We're just talking about respecting people's spaces. Because, like, boys especially, we can... Sometimes we might, like, push someone or, like, get a bit too aggressive or too playful. And you just pull the kid aside and be like, hey, you can't just grab on somebody like that or throw things at them or get in their face because kids won't understand but no. if the kid can't even speak can't even can't even get up without your help 
And that's you going, no, you're not touching me, blah, blah, blah. I mean, the, you understand the kid does not know what you're talking about. Kid do, kids don't even know how to share toys. Yeah, they don't understand these things. It's not the appropriate age to be talking about that. I, I'm, I'm assuming you recorded that thinking that you were onto something. She got flamed in the comment section. I was going to say, should. are people agreeing with her? Oh, they ripped her to shreds. I mean, it's, well, there's going to be one or two whack jobs in there that agree with her. But in general, people are just like, I mean, you're, are you dumb? And where the hell's the father? Please tell me he's not as stupid as you are. Cause that, that poor kid is doomed. Doomed, I tell you. <laughs> do you think Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are the same thing? Don't try and do this to me on camera so you can try and make your point. Why not? No, make that's disingenuous. Same. No, it's not. So you want me to repeat myself? Yeah. Well, first we'll start off with your comment. Okay. Someone left a comment on our video. Custom campers. I'm on to you. I'm with Sabi. Anime is cartoon. Saying it is different is like saying a tsunami is different to a tidal wave and a yeti is different to Bigfoot. No. A lion and a tiger are both cats. But a lion and a tiger are different. Cartoon and anime are both drawn or animated, but they're two separate things. Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat are both fighting games, but they're not the same fighting game. Anime is not cartoon. Okay. Sabi is a human being, I'm a human being, we belong to the same species, but she's female and I'm male, right? So anime is not cartoon just because it's drawn. They're not the same thing. They might fall under some, the same category because we're, we're human, so we'd fall under that. Yes, this is the point. It's all, under the, it's, it's all the same calibre. No, but what you said was anime is cartoon. You're wearing... Um, Trousers, I'm wearing shorts, but we're both wearing clothes. Right, but you're wearing shorts. My hair's straight, your hair's curly, but we both got hair. Okay. <laughs> that is, but I don't under, what is your point? It's the same thing, it's the same shit. It's not the same thing. Same shit, different day. So you think we're the same? Because we're both humans. Um, we're both humans. Right. What differentiates us? So somebody couldn't come up to us and say, like, for me to say anime is a cartoon is the same way for somebody to come up to us and say, you're both human. Do you think Disney and DreamWorks are the same thing because they no. both produce animated shows? No, but they both produce films. So do you think orange juice and water is the same thing because they're both liquids? They're both a drink, yeah. <laughs> is that... Okay, well, you and Custom Campers can make your own YouTube channel with your logical fallacies. <laughs> Leave me out of it. 